New Bacteria Eats Plastic Plastic is one of the greatest threats to ocean life, but new research might change all that. Morgan Vey, a senior at Reed College in Oregon, has developed a new bacteria that eats PET plastic. This synthetic fiber is a polyester polymer most commonly found in plastic bottles and clothing. PET takes hundreds of years to break down in the environment and is a major contributor to worldwide waste and pollution. According to the Oregonian, Vague took soil, sand, and water samples polluted with petroleum from Galveston Bay in Texas. From these, she narrowed down the microbes that produce the highest amount of plastic dissolving chemicals. Next, she left three with nothing but plastic to feed on. She later found that the three types of microbes had consumed all of the plastic. Two of the bacteria are known, but the third is a new bacteria discovered by Vey. She's calling it Pseudomonas morganensis. Speaking to the Oregonian, Vague's biology professor described the discovery as a watershed moment. The professor explained the bacteria occurs naturally, but also that more research needs to be done on it. It's everywhere. We are becoming planet plastic. A new study has revealed the amount of all the plastic that has ever been made in the entire world for the first time, and that number is shocking. It's estimated that 8.3 billion tons of plastic was produced between 1950 to 2015, and that amount is the equivalent to the weight of 25,000 Empire State Buildings. Only 30% of the plastic that has been created is still in use, and the rest has become waste. 79% of the waste is in landfills, 12% was incinerated, and only about 9% has been recycled. Much of the plastic waste dumped in the oceans has ended up in Arctic waters. Germany, South Korea, Slovenia, and Austria are leading in recycling efforts. Meanwhile, the United States only recycles about 35% of its waste. The only way to permanently dispose of plastic waste is to destroy it with heat, yet this method would also generate emissions that are hazardous to human health. Although the study estimates that the global recycling rate could reach 44% by 2050, that number would still be too low to offset the waste we produce. Whale dead after chowing down on 80 plastic bags. News of a whale's death coming out of Thailand this week shows us the sad, sad consequences of plastic waste. According to AFP, a male pilot whale was found struggling to stay alive in a canal in southern Thailand near the Malaysian border. A team of veterinary staff tried to help the wounded creature, but its condition got the best of him last Friday afternoon. An autopsy of the mammal revealed a gut-wrenching discovery. The AFP reports that officials found 80 plastic bags inside the whale's belly, weighing a combined 8 kilograms. Those chunks of plastic were likely consumed by the whale, which probably thought they were squid or other fish. A marine biologist told the AFP it's a huge problem, explaining that 300 marine animals die in Thailand each year after eating plastic. That number not only applies to pilot whales, but also sea turtles and dolphins. According to nonprofit organization Sea Turtle Conservancy, over 100 marine animals are killed annually due to plastic debris in the ocean. The conservancy says that there's 100 million tons of plastic in the world's oceans. Sadly, these numbers are probably only going to get higher. Plastic eating enzyme created by accident. Scientists have created a substance capable of eating plastic. Researchers from the U.S. and Britain say they have created a plastic-eating enzyme that could be used to aid in the recovery and recycling of plastics. The enzyme is able to digest polyethylene terephthalate, or PET, plastic. PET plastics take hundreds of years to break down and have become an enormous source of global pollution on land and in the oceans. Scientists made the discovery while looking at the structure of a natural plastic-eating enzyme believed to have evolved in a recycling plant in Japan. Researchers added some amino acids to the enzyme, which ended up speeding up its plastic-eating capabilities. The team will now work on improving the enzyme to see if it's capable of breaking down PET plastics on an industrial scale. Hey, it beats throwing plastic in the incinerator. Is it really the final straw for plastic? Take that straw out of your mouth. Cities are increasingly cracking down on single-use plastic straws. Americans use about 500 million straws a day, which works out to 1.5 straws a citizen every 24 hours. In the UK, 8.5 billion plastic straws are used each year. Straws are difficult to recycle and usually end up in landfills or being incinerated, but they are increasingly clogging up waterways and oceans as well. 
Cities worldwide are increasingly discouraging the use of straws, with some even outright banning them. Others have vowed to phase out plastics over the next decades. Plastic straw alternatives have also started to gain in popularity. They're made from materials like bamboo, metal, glass, paper, potato, or corn paste. But let's be honest, can you really teach an old dog new tricks? UK to ban wet wipes to fight plastics pollution. Just flush it down the toilet. What could possibly go wrong? The UK government announced it will ban wet wipes as part of its 25-year environmental plan to battle plastics pollution. According to The Sun, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs now classes wet wipes as a serious environmental hazard, along with plastic bags. Wet wipes are made from polyester and are non-biodegradable. Makers of wet wipes say their products can be flushed, but they do not disintegrate in the sewers like toilet paper, which lead to sewer blockages. According to The Guardian, a study from Water UK found that wet wipes are responsible for 93% of the material causing sewer blockages in the country. For those concerned about cleanliness, thank God there are still bidets. As for America, they'll continue to use good old TP, because smearing doo-doo all over your backside is better than cleaning it off anyway. Great Pacific Garbage Patch is out of control. Here's some uplifting news. Results of a three-year study, beginning in 2015, suggest the Great Pacific Garbage Patch could be 16 times larger than previous estimates. With 30 vessels, and a C-130 Hercules aircraft, researchers cataloged a sample of over a million pieces of plastic, mostly microplastics, less than 0.5 centimeters in diameter. Scientists say there are more than 79,000 tons of plastic, equal to 500 jumbo jets, in a 1.6 million square kilometer area, around three times the size of France, of the North Pacific Ocean. Researchers found plastic bottles, containers, packaging straps, lids, ropes, and fishing nets among the other refuse that have been collecting for decades. As the plastics break down into smaller pieces, they threaten marine life that can eat and die from them.